So as you guys know, we've had a bit of a problem on the Pond Prowler recently. The Pond Prowler does a great job at covering almost all of my needs. However, it has one big issue and that is the spinning out of control. For some strange reason, this little boat, especially with the trolling motor up front, has a very bad tendency to spin one way or the other. And when I'm trolling, that can be a really big pain in the butt. I've lost fish because of it. I've tangled up lines because of it. It's been a big problem. I told you guys in the last video that I was working on a modification to help mitigate this problem and we're done folks we finished the project this guy right here is a custom built rudder that i am going to be putting on the back of the boat this is made out of an acrylic pvc and a Minn Kota trolling bracket this is an absolute game changer i'm really hoping it's going to work this is the prototype um, so we're going to be testing it out on the water today but first let's go to how i built it all right, now the length of the rudder is completely up to you, but in this case, I chose about 38 inches of pipe to use. This is three quarter inch PVC pipe, and all I did to start here is I cut a straight line right through each side. As you see here, when I open it up, right, you can completely go through the pipe, and that's what the acrylic sheet will be placed into. Now for the next piece here, you actually have to kind of make these. Uh, these are one inch galvanized two hole pipe hangers, which I got at Home Depot. Uh, I actually molded them to my liking using a vise and pliers. As you see here, I actually used the piece of PVC to kind of help shape it and, and bend it basically so that it fits. Once you're done making all four of those little brackets, uh, you're basically ready to install the acrylic sheet. All you're doing is sliding that acrylic sheet in between the PVC pipe. Uh, all the specs for the acrylic sheet are listed below. And all we're gonna do now is we're basically gonna go in and just Sharpie those holes so we know exactly where to put it. But uh, that's pretty much the main basis right here. You notice these are a little bit to the left um, I don't know if I want to drill that close to the edge because it's more likely to crack. So I'm going to put it a little bit in this way. I think it'll still be okay, but that's basically where I'm wanting to go right there. So I'm wanting to lock that puppy down on all of those there, and that should be solid enough. All right, folks, so here we have pretty much the hardest parts of it done, right? We've got our pipe going down to our piece of acrylic. We I actually went in, and once I got it all... Uh, stuck through the pipe there. We went in with some JB Weld just to kind of help keep it locked down. I went in afterwards and then sanded that, that way it's smoother. And then we went in and drilled our little holes in the acrylic, four holes right through. And that is what we are gonna be attaching these little clamps on, you know, over the top like this. And we're gonna get all those attached there. So that's the next step that we're gonna be doing. After that, we've just got some small minor things to put on and we're pretty much done. There is a house in New Orleans. All right, so all I've got here, right, I've got my screwdriver, I've got my like flat build uh, pliers here, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm using the pliers to hold the nut, and then I'm screwing the bolt in on the other side. And basically, that's just locking either side. If you notice, this one's a little bit, this clamp is a little bit bent. However, when you screw it in, it's actually just flattening out and it's actually not bending the acrylic, which obviously a bent rudder is kind of destroying the whole point of, you know, <laughs> of using it. So we're going in here. All that's doing is just flattening out right there and boom, now we're locked. Now I'm gonna come in with the saw and I'm actually gonna uh, saw off all that remaining piece of the bolt there. That way it runs flush with the rudder. Woo, all good. Folks, that is beautiful. Look at that, perfectly flush. If you guys notice as well, I can put a lot of, you know, a lot of force on that thing and it's not not moving that acrylic's not gonna break you hear those noises and all that is is it's either the um, JB weld cracking or it's the acrylic rubbing on the other side of the pipe because I drilled it all the way through it's a little bit annoying and it sounds uh, makes it sound a lot weaker than it actually is, but this thing is not budging. I mean, that thing is super, super strong, and I think in the water, you won't hear that. It's not gonna matter anyway. So, awesome, that is perfect. All I have here is I have a three quarter inch uh, PVC like pipe cap, and all we're gonna do is gonna put that on the bottom. <sighs> Boom, 
Now that's in. Now I know probably a little bit of water is gonna get inside of this thing, not because of the bottom or the top, but because of this area in here. Uh, I definitely, you know, there definitely is little spots where it's gonna seep in. And in the future, I'm probably gonna end up doing a little fix on that if it becomes like a problem, if it becomes like too heavy or something, you know, changes with it. Um, I'll probably end up going in. If you guys have silicone already, I would recommend just siliconing those edges, you know, on each side and on the back and I think that would keep it locked a lot better than what the JB Weld would do in this case because I really the JB Weld doesn't need to lock this in place because that's what those are for those things aren't gonna move so I don't know looking back I probably wouldn't have done the JB Weld I would have just done silicone but hey now you guys don't have to do the same thing that I messed up on so the next part is going to be getting it on the boat. And that part is going to be including another little piece that we bought off Amazon here. This guy, if you guys notice, this is the same thing that Minn Kota trolling motors are put on. This is actually made by Minn Kota. Uh, and all this is, right, is this screws into the back, the transom of your boat. And then you take this guy, and that's what you bring down so that your trolling motor is in the water, right? And then it goes back up. So basically, we're gonna be putting that pipe in here like it is a trolling motor, and we're gonna be using this so that we can take this on and off of the boat whenever we want, which is gonna be really, really cool, because not every trip I'm gonna need this. If I'm using my two-stroke motor, there's no point in having this, because that two-stroke motor is basically a rudder in the back anyway. So yeah, let's get the rest of this assembled. We're almost done, folks. We're like two or three steps away here. So the main thing is, right, if this guy, is sitting up. The main thing is when that goes down, we want it to be situated like that in the water. So that's what we're gonna have to do is we wanna get this thing basically sitting up when we have it installed. I have a little three quarter inch corner PVC. I have a small piece of PVC which I've cut out and then I have another cap. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna install the cap on one side of this we're gonna take the corner piece, get it on the other, and this is basically, what I have this here for is so that you can kind of see what direction the, the fin is facing in case it were to, you know, turn to one side. I just don't want this piece too long because I don't really want this thing going all the way down or when it's up, I don't want it to be in the way. So that's why I made this thing super small. So we're just gonna make sure that, you know, this is lined up straight with the rudder. We're gonna push that on here. What I noticed about this Minn Kota trolling bracket is the three quarters inch pipe works well, but it's just a little bit too small. So what we actually can do on this little bracket here is there's a loosener right here. And what you do is you loosen up that inside. I just take a small piece of metal and I shove that inside that little spot right there. Just like that. Get that in as far as possible. Just like that, you see we have that little piece of metal stuck in there, and then all we're gonna do is we're going to just use this thing to secure it down. And I'm really curious to see if that metal piece will fall out, but you know, this is a prototype, so we're gonna see if it works here in the next couple days. All right, but here is our finished prototype. If this was gonna be on the boat, right, this is how it would be situated. So basically, this would be screwed into the boat, this guy right here, we'd be able to actually turn a little bit in case we need the we need the help, right? And then going down, we have our rudder in the water, just like that. So obviously when we're pulling up to land, we're gonna have to remember not only to pull up the trolling motor, but also grab this guy right here and pull this up just like that. So that way this is out of, you know, out of the water, just hanging onto the back. But the nice thing is that this thing is detachable so I can take this on and off on each trip. Let's flash back to Wednesday morning here and let's see how it works. Installing it on the back of the boat was pretty easy. All I did was just clamp it down to that little transom mount. This would be where you would usually put your trolling motor or in my case, I also have a two stroke that I put back here. Um, and then all this does is just click that down and that drops down into the water. So, whoo. Man, that sun is bright, folks. Holy smokes. It is gonna be a beautiful day in the water. The main focus of the video is not the fishing, although there will be fish caught. 
The main focus is on, you know, whether or not the rudder is gonna work. All right, we're in 10 feet of water here, so I can easily uh, put that rudder out if I want to here. All right, rudder's deployed. Right now we're about 2.6, and now I'm gonna lift it up. Whoa, and now we're at 2.9. Basically that rudder is taking off about 0.25 miles an hour when it's in the water. Wow, folks, I can already feel an improvement in the, in the stability of the boat. I just dropped that thing down and I'm able to tie up and rig up without having to worry and crank this thing. And this thing's on full, full power. So, wow, that's a huge difference already. Oh my gosh, and we have so many fish on the bottom of the screen. That's crazy. All right. Now, the real test too is gonna be when I hook into a couple fish, what is it like? You know, am I, if I'm hooked up here and I'm not worrying about this as much, is it gonna turn? Those are the questions that we're gonna ask ourselves here soon. Oh, 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 there we go. Yep, 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 we're on. We're on. Let's go. About freaking time. I don't know what's going on, folks. My uh, boat cam on the top, the top view here, the, cam, the GoPro just turned off. So I got to check on that and see what's going on. Oh, my gosh. I'm fighting him, and my boat is not turning at all. Well, it's turning a little bit, but it's not bad whatsoever. That is nowhere near as bad as it was before. Yeah, first crappie in the boat, folks. Yes, and there we are, folks. That right there is a little black crappie. What's funny is I had a different Rapala on. I had this guy has been going all morning without a bite. That guy, this was the one I caught him on last week. That was five minutes into that new bait being tied on. So I figured out what they want. Get him on ice. Not as deep as I thought they were gonna be today. I think I've been fishing too deep all morning. I think I've been making a huge mistake here. So we're gonna start bringing everything up. This is why having that stability is so important is because I can do two things at once right now. I can get my downrigger up and my rod back out whilst, you know, switched up on a new bait. And I don't have to worry about, you know, going anywhere crazy. Maybe a small adjustment in there, but Oh man, that's so, so helpful. This is a prototype. However, it's working great. This is definitely a successful prototype. Oh yeah. Wow, look at that. The second I take the rudder out, I have all the problems. I just, I was curious, I wanted to see It's not a giant by any means. In fact, that's probably the smallest one <laughs> I've got out here. However, if you guys notice, I took the rudder out of the water for a little bit just to test, and you could see right there, I had to constantly turn this motor to keep it straight. So that rudder makes a huge difference because the first fish I caught this morning, I didn't have to do that, which is kind of kind of weird. Either way, beautiful, beautiful little crappie, fish number two for the day. I'd like to get maybe nine to 10, that'd make, make a perfect dinner for me and my family. Oh, there we go. We're on, we're double. Yeah. <laughs> oh, better fish. Whoa. This one's, oh, oh my, what is this? What is this, folks? This is big. This is a good fish, whatever it is. I don't think this is a crappie. Come on, water ski him up. Oh my God, that's a big old. Yo! 
Yes! <laughs> That's a big one! That's a big one! Oh yeah! That's what we were looking for! That's a double, folks! Yes, yes, yes! It's amazing how just what like five minutes can do for a trip. Oh my gosh, beautiful crappie. Yes! Oh, that was awesome. That was epic. Yeah, folks, huge, huge difference without the rudder in the water. Wow. Well, overall, the rudder is 100% a success. I'm definitely gonna use it on more trips. It was hard today because that rudder does take more power off the trolling motor to go. And since I already had a decently long run to this spot, it's kind of tricky to, you know, to, to do that. I see myself using that rudder a lot more on places where I'm, you know, just trolling right off from the boat launch so I don't really have to, you know, use a bunch of the battery. Or if I potentially get a bigger battery, that way I have more power. Um, but either way, the rudder itself worked. It 100% worked. It was incredible the amount of stability that I have going straight, if I'm hooked up on a fish, whatever. It was a huge difference. So 100% recommend anyone with a pond prowler or a kayak to make this it was incredible if you guys enjoyed this video you're also gonna love these two up here hopefully you guys got something out of today's video uh, definitely gonna be more mods here in the future more fun trips oh man it's gonna be fun season so see you guys next time on humbug videos